Hi guys, Jared here with Day Traders FX. Time for the daily video. We've got some interesting stuff to talk about. Uh, we're right at that big breakout of a lot of pairs and a lot of things are going on and we have to be very, very uh, vigilant at some of these levels because there's going to be some huge movements to follow as these breakouts happen. Okay, so just a quick little look. U.S. markets are still going. Uh, Dow is having a pretty good day, about 75, 76 points up. Uh, and the S&P is up a couple of points as well, about 8 points uh, right now. Oil uh, uh, is kind of holding in the mid-90s and gold's down just a little bit. We'll look at some of those charts in a moment. Um, we don't have any major news for the rest of the day. Uh, we do have trade balance out of China. We're not sure what time that's going to be. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, that'll definitely have some, you know, potentially a effect on the... Um, Australian uh, dollar pairs and, and some of those. Uh, and then we have the financial stability report out of New Zealand uh, in a couple of hours as well. Um, coming into tonight and tomorrow, we've got a little bit of stuff. Um, we have the CPI uh, for the Swiss franc, so keep an eye on that if you're trading that. Then we have employment numbers tomorrow for New Zealand and Australia, two biggies. We're going to definitely want to keep an eye on that, and then the CPI tomorrow as well. So that'll be worth keeping uh, watch of on some of these Aussie pairs and and, uh, and some of these others. And then we have some bank holidays coming up, so that might slow things down just a hair on some of those Euro pairs. Um, but that's, that's coming into a couple of days from now here. Um, let's look at this euro dollar and see what in the world we think about this thing um, and where it might be going and what it might be doing. Uh, so the euro dollar is failing to, to get above. It's grinding around now. So so my, my channel and my area that I was watching was like 13200 and 13030. And I'm going to kind of tighten it up a little bit. Uh, th this was the confirmation right here, 131.30. Uh, we ran up and we're just a tiny bit. It's like 131.32. So we'll just call it 131.30. Uh, weekly pivot is sitting right here about 131.28. Uh, we, we, we started the week uh, making an attempt above that and then sold off very nicely. We rallied up to that again today uh, with a nice little reversal candle and sold off of that nicely. Um, now, a couple of things to keep an eye on. Uh, the big levels to watch now, we, we may get another reversal off of 130.130, and I'm going to keep an eye on that. And it's going to, I'll look for something like a reversal candle like this we had right here uh, to get me into uh, a short position below 130.130. But if we test this again, I wouldn't be too surprised to see us break it. And I think that we could very, very possibly do that. So we might break that 13130 if we get up there again. So keep an eye on that. That could be a breaking point. And above 13130, uh, I will get long and probably stay long uh, euro dollar uh, up through 13200 and 13250 and all of that stuff. So, so 13130, I think, is going to be pretty crucial. Now, the last little nail in the coffin in there would be 131.50, which is one of those levels the euro uh, loves to visit over and over again, and it's just about this Friday high right here. Uh, Friday high is just a little bit above 150 or 131.50. It's almost 131.60. Um, so, so this little area is going to be kind of a tricky one in here. There will be about 20 pips of of kind of tough stuff, but uh, again, I think above 131.30, we're going to start to see some rallying on this euro dollar happen. Uh, it keeps coming down and testing this trend line right here. Now this trend line may not look too significant, but as we get out on larger time frames, we can see that this is this is a couple of months long and it just seems to be uh, holding in there and the market is bouncing off it over and over and over again. Um, and it's it's holding pretty well. So uh, plus we have the 200 moving average that we're having a little bit of trouble uh, getting below and all of that stuff. So again, uh, you know our 13130 will will be a, a nice confirmation that that's holding if we get above that. Um, but likewise, if we can make it below about 13030. Now 13030 is just about the exact level of last week's weekly pivot point. That's been holding the market pretty well. Uh, and then you can even go into um, the daily chart here, and you can see that. We have a monthly pivot uh, that's sitting uh, close to that level, about 130.70 ish area. So the monthly pivot's kind of been holding. You know, we, we, we've had a little bit of trouble on the daily charts making too much of a break as far as candle bodies go um, uh, below 130.70. We, you know, we have some opens and closes around 130.65, but really not making much of a clearance of that monthly pivot. So there's a lot of support down there, a lot of things going on. Um, so what I want to really impress upon everybody is watch for reversals at 13130 but count <clears throat> excuse me count on a break if we get up there but let's always watch for reversal candles this this was a perfect example let's watch for that stuff 
um, and, uh, and and look for opportunities to sell off of that and likewise trade the break. And very, very much likewise, let's watch for opportunities. If we get any kind of reversal candles down here around 130, 130, let's buy the heck out of that thing and trade it way up. Um, but if that level breaks as well, if we don't get a reversal candle and it just runs down to it and plows right through it, um, <clears throat> then that should open the door wide open for 129.50 and then 127.50. So big explanation on the euro dollar, but that's basically what I'm looking at. And I think we're going to have some good opportunities to trade some of that uh, coming up here. So those levels are going to be the ones to watch. 100 pip channel, 130.130 to 130.30. Okay, let's get into the pound dollar here. Uh, pound dollar has really been testing uh, 15600 quite a bit, um, and and we know that this is the top of you know a channel, and and we have the 200 moving average and the 50% fib and so on, and it's finally just starting to make this run. <clears throat> excuse me, uh, down. We're, we're we're starting to get below some of these levels. Um, we we still have a missed weekly pivot uh, right here, which is uh, about 154.15 or so. So that's going to, the, the market should, or excuse me, that should kind of pull the market down to it, the, the pound dollar. So definitely counting on a, a test of 154.15 uh, area. Um, and likewise, uh, on this shorter term scale, now what we're looking for here is we made a pretty good clearance of the 200 moving average here on this one hour chart. Uh, and I think we might be able to start getting some moves down. Now, we do have some bargain shoppers down here that picked up some of this pound dollar dip uh, at around 150.50 and, and have kind of been driving it up. Now, on this little short term range right here, this is about 150 pips. Um, and, and I'm going to watch just that little, you know, remember our little fib uh, play. Uh, we're currently just above the 23% fib, which is right around 154.80. Uh, and I think we have a nice little 20 pip trade, probably into 15500, 15505. Now, so that, that that should be an easy little 20 pipper right there, J just an easy little 20 pip run. Um, and, uh, and and so you know, I'd recommend uh, uh, looking to grab a few pips out of that. Keep your stops tight, and if this thing gets back below 15480 by much, uh, you know, five pips or so, then then I would uh, look at closing that. But just just a nice little easy run right there is what I'm looking for. And then once we do this nice little easy run, I'm going to be looking for a nice reversal candle, something to get me uh, to, to give me just a little tiny bit of extra confirmation that 15500 is going to hold, and I'm looking to short off of 15500, most likely with my stops above the daily high of about 15550. So we're going to look at about 50 pip stops above this daily high, right around that weekly and daily pivot. I'm going to look at shorting right there uh, with targets of, you know. Big, big down targets. 155, uh, or excuse me, 150 uh, will be the first initial target, and then beyond. So I'm going to be looking at all of that. But for right now, a little run to one, from 154.80 to 15500, and then opportunities to short off of 15500 with a reversal candle confirmation is what I'm looking for. Um, and uh, Aussie dollar here, let's look at this Aussie dollar real quick. Um, you can see that our, our low right here, and this has been kind of a significant level uh, through the history of the Aussie dollar down here, about 101, between 101.50 and 101.15. Uh, and so that, that's been a pretty tough little level. And the Aussie dollar has broken below all of this, and it's heading back down once again. Um, but it is bouncing. It's bouncing down here just at about 101.50, uh, 55, I guess. It bounced 54. Um, looking for some retracement. Now, this is retracing nicely, and if it continues to do so, then I'm then I'm going to look for opportunities to short this around 10200 with stops just above 102.20.25 area. And I'm looking to short the Aussie dollar down into 101. Uh, probably 20, probably 101.20 is what I'll target uh, on this move down on the Aussie dollar. Um, so I think we've got a good opportunity for that. Uh, if for some reason it breaks above 102.20, then we'll look at you know trading up towards the missed pivot and filling this gap and so on. Uh, but overall, looking to short against 102.20 with a likely entry around 102.00. Um, and, and looking to target that 101, uh, probably 20 area. 
so I think we'll have a good opportunity there. Now, just a quick look at the uh, Euro Yen, one of my not so favorite pairs, but I think we've got some good opportunities on this one. Uh, we have a nice little channel right here, and it's not so big actually. It's pretty small for the Euro Yen. It's just over 100 pips, and it's you know it's 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 going pretty nicely. Uh, so far, this was just about our Friday high. We made another weekly high, just five or so pips above that. We've tested that again, and we're just bouncing around like crazy on this euro yen uh, in here so watch this 129.30 and about 130.30 um, maybe 130.40 uh, right around there so breaks of that channel should really start this thing moving it's going to be a tough battle if it breaks out up that's for sure but uh, but breaking down uh, breaking out down should give some nice opportunity and there may be some opportunities to buy off this low with stops just below uh, these lows and targeting some of that upper area so keep an eye on that uh, and I'm also watching the Aussie yen it's getting a little interesting so we'll have some looks at that and in uh, the pound yen as well so I'll talk a little bit more about that and send some details out on Twitter uh, otherwise uh, we have some good stuff coming up in the daily wrap-up session uh, make sure you join us in the chat and follow me on Twitter thanks so much everyone